thank you to the EA Creator Network for providing me with a code for the High School Years Expansion Pack. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I have made some sims for you. So I've made a group of teenagers for you to either play with and send to school or to just have in your world just a sims to kind of date or meet or be BFFs with. <laughs> Can't speak again as usual in my introduction because I'm a terrible person. Um, so yeah, I, I basically I made these sims before the pack came out and then I've gone through and updated them with the new clothing items from Cass. I haven't assigned them traits yet so we can do that kind of as we work through. I'm going to go to uh, Tide first. So all these sims are based on the elements. So water, earth, fire, air. Um, I had kind of this idea in my head that I was going to do something like The Craft. So if you've seen the movie The Craft, it's four girls, they're kind of witches, they go to high school. So they're not currently spellcasters, but if you wanted to pursue, uh, you know, some of the occult uh, gameplay in The Sims, you could you could absolutely do that. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of what I was doing then. I feel like I've got lipstick on my teeth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just not prepared at all. I try to be prepared and then I'm not prepared. So yeah, Tide Nacra. So the word Nacra, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, is um, the word for the inside of a shell. So if you know like the inside of an oyster shell, it's kind of got that pearlescent or, or like pearls and stuff. It's got that pearlescent quality. It's called Nacra. So I've used that for her last name. And then I thought Tide was kind of like this flowy ocean name. So Tide is kind of inspired by water. The kind of, um, the look that I'm giving her is this kind of like pearlescent kind of shiny texture to things, but she's also inspired by people like Doja Cat. So she's kind of, she's kind of, even though Doja Cat's not particularly sporty, in my head Tide is quite sporty and she has, um, she she has that kind of like style to her a little bit if you kind of check out doja cat style so she's uh something that you find with water signs especially signs like cancer they're very very socially intelligent so they make really good friends really good listeners they like to be around people especially they're close to, like the people who they're close to yeah even though like they may have some social anxiety like if they want to have the friends and family around them. So uh, this is kind of like a common thing that people say about the water signs. Uh, and then that's kind of Scorpio, kind of protective, kind of sting nature coming through there as well. So, you know, she can be, she can sometimes be a little bit of a drama queen. Uh, she does like a little bit of attention uh, because she has big emotions that she's a teenager, she's still trying to learn to deal with them. So she hasn't got full emotional control yet. So sometimes she's a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a drama queen. So with that in mind, this idea of her being really sociable, uh, but also being a little bit over dramatic sometimes, uh, she's got the high maintenance trait, which is behind my head at the moment, but she's got the high maintenance trait, the insider trait, and the neighborhood confidant. So we can go through at the end and kind of assign the new traits to them uh, and see who we think will fit each trait. So the initial outfit that you see is um, content from other packs um, and then I've kind of like gone through, so they've already got their style and then I've kind of gone through and given them extra outfits. So the style that I went for uh, was um, the one of the kits, I can get them mixed up now, I think it was like the date night kind of kit. They. I can't remember the names of them. We have so many. Uh, yeah, so she's kind of got that look to her. And again, these pants have a bit of a shine to them. So, um, and that kind of pearlescent quality. So I thought they were perfect for her. I really want to point out her nails as well. She always has the best nails. So she always has her nails done. She, she, she's gorgeous. She has got that like Instagram slim thick figure as well, which I love for her. She's very, very beautiful. So uh, just kind of close up on her face as well. So she, I've given a very kind of like smoky makeup. I really went in and played with the makeup filters to give her like kind of slightly pearlescent, but kind of like, I don't know, she's just got a kind of like smoky makeup quality to her, like smoky eyes, very subtle, but very, very beautiful. I think she's absolutely stunning. Even though I made her myself, I'm like, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so some of the clothes that I kind of gave her for the new pack, these are kind of her everyday outfits. So again, kind of sporty. Those like the top is from the new pack, the jeans are not from the new pack. The jeans are from bowling night and then she's got trainers on from, I think one of the kits. 
<coughs> excuse me, coughing. Uh, but this new top is part of the pack. I'm going to have to pause and have a drink of water. Just give me a second. Oh, well, this is going well already, isn't it? Uh, so yeah, this new top, it goes really, really well with kind of like the style of um, fitness the fitness kit um i can't think what it's called now i'm just gonna call it fitness kit <laughs> um it's, but the colors don't exactly match so just be aware of that if you were looking to buy those two packs together uh but the kind of like the fashion choice like of a kind of sporty sim uh kind of makes a lot of sense um so uh here we go here's one of the other outfits i really really like this top this is from the new pack uh it kind of comes in these kind of again kind of um, kind of hollow colours. Um, if you look at it, it's got a bit of a sheen to it, kind of a hollow sheen. So again, that really, really suits her. I love that for her. Um, and then these leggings are just those really, really nice fit, like the nice fit leggings that came with university stuff. So uh, yeah, again, beautiful outfit. She's also got the, uh, the new hair that came with this pack, which I think is absolutely stunning. I would have really liked a non-braided version as well um, as an option, but with that same same hairstyle I think it's you know with like a, a sweeping fringe I think it's like an absolutely gorgeous mesh um, so yeah really 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 beautiful hair like with the little baby curls as well like it's very 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 pretty I like that a lot she's so gorgeous <laughs> uh, so next one so the new hat that came with the pack uh, again there's one in the fitness kit that's kind of similar so if they complement each other quite well if you're looking for another pack in the same vibe. And then this look is so, so 90s. I am seeing people wearing this as well at the moment. Like, just like the cargo pants, the little kind of like sporty camisole vest thing uh, and the shirt over it, like such a 90s look and I love it so much. I do think she looks a little bit like Dion from... Um, from Clueless, especially if you put on the kind of like, where is it? There's one that's kind of like, there you go. That is like such a Dion look. If you like, if you know, like Cher's best friend in Clueless. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, and that's her everyday outfit. So again, quite casual, kind of sporty casual. I feel like she'd be really popular. She'd probably be on like, I don't know, she'd probably be on one of the athletic teams, maybe a cheerleader, uh, but I see her more kind of like a runner or a, I don't know, a football player or something like this. Uh, one of the boys, right? Um, and then this absolutely stunning outfit. So this is from uh, My Wedding Stories. This is one of the, the original outfits that I put on her before I got the pack. And uh, this hair though is uh, in the new pack and it's gorgeous. So this is kind of like if your sims are going to a prom and they've got like the baby hairs. It's just really, really pretty. And then this kind of like diamante tiara effort up there as well. So really, really gorgeous. Uh, her outfit that I chose from the new pack is this, which is one of my favorite outfits from the pack. She looks stunning in it. I love how it really shows off her curves. Um, I've put it on just with a pair of trainers because again teenagers I don't know that kind of like smart casual thing I, I thought it was quite cool with the trainers um, and yeah it's just and again she's quite she's quite sporty she's a little bit of a tomboy so she wants to be comfortable but she looks so incredible like I don't think I'd be able to get my boobs to stay up <laughs> like that in that outfit but she she can she looks amazing so uh, yeah really really like that outfit it comes in lots of different colors as well so if you wanted like gold or red or black you've got all those options available what color did she have on originally there we go <laughs> uh so her sporty clothes she has got quite a few sporty outfits because i do see her as a sporty sim uh so i don't think that's a particularly water sign thing but it's how she kind of developed um so yeah like she's so curvy and beautiful i love her so much and then this hair is really cute as well she randomized with this little headset in her ear and i don't know it's not actually available in cats i can't find it so i didn't want to take it off because i thought that's actually quite cute that she's like listening to her music as she works out so I just like kind of left that on her this is like the the fitness stuff kit fitness kit fitness stuff kit uh, not the fitness stuff pack the fitness kit <laughs> uh, throwback throwback fitness kit that's the one um, and then the shoes I think are from a different kit as well in Shona Rivals I think 
Uh, so her actual outfit's from the new uh, pack. She's got this like very, very like late 90s, early 2000 Britney Spears on her Hindu kind of uh, velour tracksuit effort going on. So love that for her. <laughs> this little hoodie is very, very cute. I like this. I don't think it's actually tagged for athletic though, which is really strange. So you have to untag athletic to get it to show up, which is bizarre, but I mean, it's just, it's, I'm sorry, I don't know why my phone's pinging so much right now. It's like, it's bizarre that you have to do that. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> so many interruptions. Throw it, throw the phone. Um, okay, what else? I'm simming right now. I have early access, please don't disturb me. Um, so here we go, this is another one of our outfits. It's, um, this top is spa day uh, and the bottoms are in the new pack. They come in like lots of, again, is it not enabled for athletic? That is the weirdest thing to me because they're such athletic pants. So again, it has the same kind of like, maybe 80s vibe that uh, the fitness throwback kit has. Um, and I really like the colours, like that one there, I had a shell suit that was just like that in the 80s. Uh, but for her, because, I don't know, that Instagram style, she's just gone with plain black. <laughs> so she looks absolutely incredible though. Like I, like her body, that slim fit, thick figure, she's absolutely stunning. I love her. Um, so here is her sleepwear, again, gone for a kind of a sporty look. Uh, this is just, um, I think it's... Uh, you discover university throwback fitness and then like base game socks I think um, party wear though so again going in with um, this top from is that city living god that's old and these are in fashion now um, and these uh, pants from the uh, the kind of date nighty kit that we recently got so that's kind of what I went in with at first but then for the rest of her outfits from the new expansion pack we've got this which I think is very very cool kind of makes me think of like Billie Eilish as well that kind of style uh, so very cool like party oversized t-shirt there just with those white trainers on as well from one of the kits uh this top is new in the pack it's not one of my favorite items i think it kind of but i don't know it's um, it's all right it's okay it's like i say not a favorite but I don't know, it's sporty, it, it's it's a vibe. Um, and then just to make it look a little bit brighter, I put it on with these uh, kind of like um, pink leopard print spots, uh, socks that are from the new pack. Uh, these again are the bowling night shorts that I'm obsessed with and I put on all the sims all the time. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was like a cute little party wear. Like maybe she's got like a little cami on under there and then she just threw that kind of hoodie on over the top just to keep her warm if she's going to the pier or something. Um, then this, which she looks incredible in. So this is one of the new tops that comes in the pack. And this is like so on trend at the moment. I went to get my daughter's ears pierced yesterday and the girl on reception had this whole like 90s look and she had a top just not in the leopard print, but like one of these kind of like see-through tops um and i just think it's so on trend um not us not the biggest fan of all the color choices um i kind of like like this one quite a lot but i don't know i think i would have maybe had a few more colors um that I would have chosen um, but it's a thing it's a vibe and I like it it's a cool top this again is from one of the new kits the kind of date night kit uh, just and then just a pair of trainers so very very cool and then with that amazing hair as well she looks absolutely stunning um, so a very very glamorous Instagram style um, swimsuit because she has a perfect figure so why wouldn't she show it off and because she kind of likes the attention again high maintenance sim here she she likes to look after herself so again like sporty but she doesn't want to break a nail <laughs> it's her vibe this which i love this outfit so so very much um this top is one of the uh tops from one of the new kits it's the kind of festival kit that we got um and when we got it i was like i like this but i don't know how i'm ever going to really use it um and then it just looks so good on her with those kind of uh throwback fitness kit shorts uh so yeah i love that for her from the new pack, I've given her kind of that kind of 
90s sport and 90s to late 90s early 2000 is kind of the vibe of this pack i'd say so that kind of like sh like what would you say that's like lacoste or like ben sherman or something over the top there uh with these little tiny shorts which are really old i can't remember what they actually came with uh parenthood uh and then those football socks again which i'm kind of obsessed with again football socks i keep seeing people wearing them i think they're super cute uh so that's definitely a bit of a trend at the moment and then uh she's got again she's home maintenance she's got this like very like late 90s kind of poofy coat on and then these kind of 90s style flares and then updated version with the pack so again this kind of like shaggy coat and um i think this is just a pair of like regular skinny jeans but i could have put on to be fair there's a really nice pair of jeans in the new pack that i could have put on with this outfit not those ones they're again dream home decorator so that style of like flared leg um really seen a lot of that at the moment this one this is with the new pack so these are really cool uh, and I think that's like quite a nice look as well so I could have gone with that maybe I'll leave that on it I don't know it's a cool look I really like it maybe that one I like it I'm here for it so that is tied Nacra. Um, and then if we go to North Strato, so you may be able to tell by her name, she is the air sign sim. So uh, North, because I don't know, North is like a cold wind and she's kind of an ice queen. That's my logic. And then Strato, because um, she's named after the clouds, uh, Strato Nimbus clouds. Um, so she's, um, she's, something about air signs is that they're all about the brain they are analytical they uh, are normally quite intelligent they're normally also quite sociable so that's kind of what i went with with her she is slightly based on um feruza bolt's character in the craft I can't remember her name, Nancy, Nancy in the craft. Um, so she wants to be kind of the main spellcaster um, sim. Like she wants to be the, she's the most interested in learning about witchcraft. So she's got spellcraft, spellcraft and sorcery as her um, uh, aspiration. And then she's outgoing because that's to show the social side of the air signs. And she's a genius to show that kind of like laser like mind that air signs often have. Um, disguised well because it all comes out like spaghetti, <laughs> right? Like Gemini's and Libra's, absolute spaghetti brains, but very, very intelligent. Um, so, um, yeah, that's her look. So she's got this kind of like, um, slightly goth slightly grunge look to her she's quite rock and roll you can see as well she's got this scar on her face so you can tell a few stories with that like how she got that she's pretty tough um so uh piercings as well because in tarot air signs are represented by swords so the idea of like having a lot of needles like and um like slashes again like that kind of sword imagery um so yeah i really really like it and then she's got this very cool haircut with the shaved sides so this dress that she's currently wearing is from werewolves and she's got it on with the converse that are also from werewolves and i love that look for her and then i've kind of gone in and given her that kind of like a uh, very moody 90s uh grunge makeup so I think she's like, I love my sim so much. Every time I make a sim, I fall in love with them. I've got a problem. Um, so then from the new, her updated outfits from the new pack, uh, she's got this. Again, very much the same vibe, kind of that 90s style. She's very, very slim. She's got quite kind of a slim, tall, kind of like lean tomboy figure. So uh, it fits her really, really well, like kind of little pinafore style. I uh, really love that. I would have liked to have had it in some checks. Um, like a checked pinafore I think would have been really nice but it doesn't come in checks <laughs> so sad times for me uh, she's got it in with, on with these base game socks uh, which I love and I use all the time and uh, these boots that kind of look a little bit like Doc Martens to me they came with Discovery University because uh, I feel like she'd be a Doc Martin girl maybe she'd be in drama club or something I don't know um, maybe not actually I've got a sim over here who's in drama club um, and then she's got uh, this outfit as well I do put some of the new hairs on her so keep an out for those um this outfit here which is from the new pack uh, again that kind of uh she'd probably listen to nirvana and stan kurt cobain i feel uh yeah with the converse and stuff again really love that outfit actually very 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 nice with the oversized 
a shirt taking the place of a skirt there and it does come in a lot of different colors as well it comes in like more vibrant colors that's also a really nice one I like that one a lot as well um, she's got this outfit which um, the skirt so what I love about this is you can dress this up like clueless or you can give it more of a kind of emo grunge vibe so I've got emo grunge for her and I've put it on with this top from um, cottage living cottage lifestyle cottage lifestyle uh to give it that kind of like grungy kind of look and i'm here for it i love it so this is one of the new hairs that came with the pack as well it doesn't come with the hat you can take that off uh, so it just kind of show you there you go so really love that hairstyle that kind of like um like um between the jaw and shoulder that mid-length um straight bob is very very 90s and i love that it's got a little bit of detail in there as well with like the plait and things like that so i just think she's so cool i love her i love her um yeah so that's her vibe that hat came with the base game i think um it did get updated with more colors i can't remember which pack uh, and then this as well which is very cool so same top but she's got those really cool kind of Rupert the Bear pants on so a little bit punk uh, I just I love this whole vibe so what's really interesting about the new expansion pack is that um, all the clothes that came with it um, they've been really quite clever with the swatches and things so it's generally kind of late 90s early 2000s and they've gone for a lot of different trends because you've got the the app trendy in the game and that whole uh, design and outfit vibe so they've got things like emo um, kind of uh oh what's it called like the myspace like myspace scene uh kind of style it's got kind of a little bit punk it's a little bit uh girly it's a little bit preppy and uh it's very cool how with a limited amount of outfits and you do get a lot of outfits in this pack uh, and again i'm only looking at the girls outfits here i've not even made any boys <laughs> like <laughs> so far and there's so many outfits to talk about um they um they've been really clever with um getting these shapes from that era of like late 90s early 2000 and then being clever with the swatches so that you can use it in multiple ways i think they've done a really good job actually with cass on this in this pack she's got the little uh, equation tattoo as well just to show that she's really very clever um and um this is her outfit that i dressed her in for the prom before i got the pack so this is just again from that kind of like date night kit um and this is her actual prom outfit now i love this this the top and the bottom are both from this pack and i really really like that style i think it's very on trend i could see a lot of teens now who are particularly trendy wearing that kind of style i think it's absolutely gorgeous but these shoes these loafers are actually uh they are not enabled for feminine they're actually masculine loafers um, and they came with the um, the Stephen Cook uh, kit. What is it? The menswear, modern menswear. Um, so if you're looking for something like a brogue, uh, the modern menswear kit is, is really, really nice. And you just have to disable the feminine tag for them. I uh, really, really like that look very sharp uh, so again this is kind of her sporty look <laughs> she, again she's quite tall she looks like she might be a bit of a football player um, i like that she's got the um, the suntan lotion there as well i just think she looks really cool um uh, so yeah that's um what did that come with that's the fitness stuff pack not the fitness kit and the fitness throwback fitness kit so the two fitness kits <laughs> and stuff packs together oh my god the trainers again are the werewolves trainers and i love them use them all the time already i've not even had this pack that long and they're already on every single sim so uh she's got the throwback fitness trainers on there with this new top that came with the pack again that's just that one of those really big oversized t-shirts it's not enabled for athletic so i do recommend taking some of the tags off and seeing what's available if you remove the tags to give you extra options but yeah this is what we already saw with the kind of like uh, uh we saw this on uh tide that kind of like billy elish style oversized t-shirt and then this is just a different way to wear it uh so sleepwear she's just got on like a men's pajama top <laughs> again a little bit grunge uh and then she's just got that t-shirt on with a pair of socks as her sleepwear as well um this is the werewolves um outfit so the werewolves pack and the uh, high school years expansion pack the clothing actually complements each other really well so if you only have high school years and you're looking for other packs to complement i do recommend um the werewolves pack for the clothing and also the um 
some of the new kits as well, particularly, um, particularly probably de the date kit, which I can't remember the name of right now, and the fitness throwback kit. Uh, they work really well. So fitness throwback for that kind of sporty style. Um, the um, some of the kits like Inchon Arrivals as well, and the date the date kit. <laughs> I can't really remember what it's called. Um, they have that kind of really clean kind of uh, slightly more formal look if you want more of that and then this is kind of like the grunge look in werewolves um so here we go so this is that really gorgeous pinafore dress again like i really love this actually can we just talk for a second about the, the mesh itself like how well this is made because you can actually see and i'm all about the rib tops at the moment you can actually see the rib of the top it's like it's not flat so and just look at the sleeve look at the sleeve there like look 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 at my sleeve i've got the same kind of sleeve the kind of like the way it kind of ripples like beautifully made and then if you, i can't zoom in close enough i don't think but if you look here as well on the actual pinafore of the dress the little buckle really stands out so whoever made the neck as well like really very very beautifully made uh, cast asset there so whether you like the outfit or not it's very professionally done so whoever actually made that asset like 10 out of 10 my only complaint about it with it being one of my favorite items in the pack i just would have liked more swatches <laughs> like i would have liked more colors more swatches and um, particularly like some check swatches i just because it's my favorite item i want more of it <laughs> um and i think it's really really wearable and it's like how people do wear these outfits if i compare it as well to let me just um just to get one of my complaints out <laughs> If I compare it to, uh, there's another dress somewhere, uh, this one here, I don't feel like this works as well because with this dress you would wear a pinafore over the top of one of these very, very thin tops. This one I feel like you don't tend to see that style of dress layered. It doesn't look right to me. I think that's a very, very summery dress and it looks odd to have it layered especially because the actual top itself that it's layered with is quite thick um i think it would have been nicer if it was like a thin rib or even like one of the um if i just go back onto the filter again i would have layered it if i was going to layer it which i probably wouldn't have done because it's a really nice, nice dress without the layering uh, i would have laid it with either something like this like a thin rib or uh, something like this. I think that would have been better for layering, like the very thin see-through fabric. So that's a complaint about that. It's just, just I, I, listen, I'm very picky. I used to work in clothing, so I, I kind of like, I go, I get very specific about things. Um, but yeah, I love that outfit. Really, really like that, that um, combination of that swatch with the kind of like the gray and white swirls with the black. I think it's really, really nice. So yeah, I really like that outfit. I'm just picky. <laughs> uh, this again, one another one of my favorite outfits. Really like the check. I uh, really like the colors on it as well. Those kind of like burgundy and browns. Um, nice mixture of colors there. Very grunge. Uh, this again, like that kind of sporty top. So it comes in lots of different swatches. Some of them are really bright. Some of them are really colorful. Some of them are quite plain. Uh, and here I've got that kind of like kind of like reddish check on her and I really like it. I actually really, really like that that combination. It's very, very circa 2000. With the, um, these remind me of, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, the Sims 2, like The Sims 2, what's it called, The Sims 2? Like the game that you're playing with a two instead of a four, you stupid woman. Uh, the Sims 2, I don't know if you remember like the pink um, combat pants. They had a big belt, but I don't know why they really, really remind me of The Sims 2. Um, so yeah, I really like that look. I think it's very cool. It's kind of a little bit clubby, uh, which is why I gave her kind of like the big headphones and things like that. Really, really like that look. And she's just got the converse on with those as well. Uh, this one, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It's very 90s. It's very grunge. I really wanted to try using the skirt. Uh, it feels a little bit more like it's a teacher skirt, perhaps. Maybe like, again, like your drama teacher might wear something like that. But I did want to kind of try pairing it up. And I like, so again, lots of different swatches on this one. Uh, I did kind of it kind of, I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. Half of me thinks, yeah, that really works. That's really grunge. I remember people wearing stuff like that in the 90s. And part of me goes, oh, that's, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. Oh, just to show you her nails as well. I kind of, they've all got personalized nails. So uh, Tide had the really big, dramatic Instagram nails. My tummy just rumbled. Um, 
North has really, really short rock and roll, like black nail varnish. It's a shame it's not chipped. I think she'd wear black chipped nail varnish, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so that's, I don't know. I like it, very 90s, very grunge. It's a vibe. Not 100% sure of, oh, like, I've got it on the nose, like not quite sure about it. What I do like about it though, which again is an interesting trend, is the different um, the different textures going in different directions. So I really, really like, um, I can't think of what it's called now, I'm having a mental blockage. Um, twill, like twill cotton fabric. Um, so you've got the twill, like the texture of the twill with the, the lines on the top and then the cord going in the different directions. So that's quite an interesting use of like mixed mixed fabric mixed direction on the fabric which i don't know again just kind of playing around with that <laughs> uh so again slightly rock and roll really like the um sunscreen lotion the sunblock on her nose there as well and you can kind of see her little bird tattoo again to symbolize air uh, because she's an air sign and uh this is her little i really like this this is bowling night one of my favorite outfits in the game uh not enabled for this oh it's because i've got high school years there you go um so really really like that outfit it looks great with those converse from werewolves as well and uh yeah so from the pack i've gone for that little skirt that kind of like little emo skirt again so you can make it look really preppy or you can make it look quite rock and roll and I've paired it up with I think this is backyard stuff if I just get rid of that filter is that backyard stuff I feel like it's backyard stuff <laughs> uh, so this cool little t-shirt which again such a nice little usable t-shirt I love the little knot on it um, those base game uh, socks and the converse and I think that's a really cool little kind of uh, rock and roll style look which you do see uh, teenagers wearing at least here uh, and then this again this is another one that I'm not 100% sure about it's it's kind of so she's got the mules on which I hate mules um, I gave her this kind of uh, check skirt from uh, cottage living again to go with the kind of check uh, theme throughout her outfits and then this new top which came with the pack not convinced on that one again I do feel like it's kind of got a 90s grunge vibe it's a look, it's not my favourite. Um, outwear, she's got on um, stuff from Werewolves and Parenthood here. Uh, what are those shoes as well? Uh, Discover University shoes. And then her actual outfit from the new expansion is this, which is very, very cool. Again, a little bit MySpace, you know, with the, uh, the big black and white check. Do you remember when everybody had like belts on with that check? <laughs> like a belt, or a checked belt, big jeans, a big chain, <laughs> so my space. Um, and then, uh, yeah, this big kind of like big bird top, which this big bird jacket, which I absolutely love. Very kind of like shaggy looking, very, very cool. And I really like the t-shirt that's underneath there as well. Uh, so yeah, I love that. And I put that on with those DMs as well from, was that Discovery University? It was indeed. So I really like that look. I think it's very cool. I don't know how warm she's gonna be, but it is enabled for, um, it is enabled for outerwear with this pack. I guess some of the int some strange choices with like what is enabled for certain things and then what's not enabled for certain things because I would have definitely enabled that big t-shirt and the little hoodie for athletic wear and it isn't. And then if you look at the cold weather, like why is that cold weather? Like why is that cold weather? Why is that cold weather? Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like some strange choices. Like that top that I was talking about is enabled for cold weather, but it shows your midriff. And it's like, it's more like, like it's a light jacket, right? <laughs> so um, why it's enabled for outerwear and not sportswear i don't know there's just a few strange choices so i do really really recommend disabling some of the filters and playing around with it yourself if you're really into cas so let's go to eartha corneas so eartha like eartha kit and because she's an earth sign corneas i can't remember why i think because capricorn is an earth sign and i think it was something i think it was like I got the name from somewhere and I was like, oh, it sounds a bit like Capricorn as well. So I thought that was really, really suitable for her. Uh, she is kind of an overachiever. She's very 
uh, she's kind of like slow and steady wins the race. So she does things the tr traditional way. Um, she's quite homely. She likes to nurture her friends. Uh, you know, she's the kind of girl who'd like leave a little note in your locker to tell you that she, that you're a really good friend to her. She's very caring, very nurturing, very skilled. She's a bit of a perfectionist. Capricorns, I'm looking at you. Vir Virgos, looking at you. Uh, and she's a foodie. Taurus, looking at you. So Taurus is all about... Um, uh, like pleasure oh, it's, it's a sign of pleasure um, and like Capricorn is kind of like the finest things in life and Virgo is a nurturer so I thought foodie was really really appropriate for her um, so uh, yeah and she's a self-care specialist as well uh, so that is her thing so she her style is kind of based on a lot of the things that my best friend who was a Virgo in high school would wear she had this really nice um, this really nice sense of style. It was quite classic. When she wasn't wearing like sporty clothes, <laughs> we won't talk about that, but she had a really nice sense of like, um, um, like quality clothing, uh, which I kind of brought to, to Eartha. So this is what she's originally wearing. This is the top from um, the recent kit. Again, it's that kind of like date night kit, uh, which I love that top, keep putting it on all my Sims. And then she's got these dream home decorator pants because there's some similar jeans that actually come with this pack, which I love. Again, really, really like these, this style of jeans at the moment. Um, and she's got the new hair. Now I really like this. It kind of makes me think of like Madison Beer, if you know the singer. Uh, with that middle parting i wish there was i wish there was something similar with the middle parting without the headband but uh that's what i found for so she is slightly based on madison beer as well if you kind of like look at her face shape that kind of very very desirable slightly upturned nose uh the nice jaw uh the the like the, how Madison Beer looks and like Ariana Grande as well so that very desirable face shape I've really gone with that classic look for her um so um quite neutral but trendy makeup as well so she's got a gloss on her lips she's got a little bit of eye makeup on but it's kind of subtle uh so yeah very very classic looking very beautiful as well i really like these sims uh, again going with that classic look she is wearing this kind of like school uniform it's a little bit like um, alicia Sil silverstone in clueless so if we change it to the yellow you can absolutely see what i'm talking about there a very classic alicia silverstone look and again i've put it on with those uh, uh men's uh what is it modern menswear kit the brogues from menswear uh, i disabled feminine and found those brogues because i think they are really really nice on women I understand why they're not enabled for women because it was a menswear kit but uh if you're looking for a nice pair of brogues really recommend those really really enjoying putting those on my sims at the moment so yeah she's got the very classic school uniform look she probably would go to like i don't know a prep school or a grammar school because i think she would be quite skilled and quite intelligent because she's hard working so i feel like the if I was to compare North and Eartha, North would be naturally very intelligent, naturally very sharp, but also kind of lazy and disinterested. Uh, maybe like, uh, I don't know, she'd rather go off and do her own thing than kind of sit there every single day, feeling bored. It's like, the, you know, the kids in class who, they get it really quickly and then they have to sit there while the teacher explains it to everybody else and then they start to get bored and then they start to act out and then they start to skip class. It's like, well, I know it every anyway, so I'm wasting my time here. So she, North would be a bit more rebellious, but naturally very sharp and intelligent. I feel like Eartha, her intelligence would come from working really hard, paying attention in class, showing up for every lesson, like actually being actively interested in learning. That's why she would be successful. So and she probably would be more successful than North because North would be like, I'm bored, I'm out of here. So uh, again, different kinds of intelligence coming through. Um, and then what else has she got? So she's got this outfit as well, which is very girly, very preppy, um, quite traditionally girly. Again, just kind of her vibe. She'd probably be in some kind of like country club or something, like rich daddy, that, <laughs> that kind of energy. Um, and yeah, those little socks as well, are like the knee length, knee high socks. Again, just giving it that cute kind of tennis player look very very cute looking uh, I really like this this swatch as well on this uh, kind of see-through top uh, again those items are both from the kit this is just the check shirt I skirt that I just showed you but without the check uh, so again lots of really nice swatches on that one uh, it's also this the skirt that was kind of like a bit emo 
so yeah very useful skirt um, and then yeah this is just that top again uh, that you saw in the kind of like the leopard print before this is a really long video I'm sorry I explained too much the lady doth explain too much I think um, and then this little uh, this is a tricky item for me but I really like it with these pants again both of these items are from the new pack um, so this kind of like little preppy top I kind of feel like that should have like a shirt under it or something I prefer the shape of this item to there's another one where is it let me just find it so there's kind of like this one with the shirt under it as well but it's kind of like bigger I kind of like the size of this little one I would have liked the size of that top with the big over like sized shirt underneath it uh, I think that would have been really nice and then there's another one that's like I don't like how low it is it's kind of strange to me how low it is but I like that best the best <laughs> best is best uh, and then these jeans which come in loads of cool different colors again it's kind of like the the punky myspace pants that we saw before but just in a more muted pastel color uh, with a nice pair of trainers as well I feel like she's an Air Force Ones kind of girl same uh, Air Force Ones and Converse it's the way for me and then she's got this really nice little necklace on as well that came with the pack which I can't seem to get on for some reason uh, so this was designed by internet girl at Depop uh, it only comes in the one swatch unfortunately it would have been nice to get it in a mix of metals but it's a very very cute little heart necklace and I feel like it's an update to the base game heart necklace which she originally had on so very very cute like that a lot and uh, this again that kind of like preppy uh, prep school girl look uh, even if she doesn't go to prep school she wants to look like she goes to prep school so <laughs> that's kind of her vibe I, that was an awkward laugh <laughs> Uh, and that comes in loads of really nice colours as well like the pink really suits her uh, that's a really nice colour as well I think it does it come in like no I thought it came in a yellow version of that but it doesn't so yeah a really nice little uh, school uniform if you wanted to send if you want to dress all the kids in school uniform like you could absolutely do that really really cute uh, let's keep going because I'm only halfway through and it's going to be the longest video ever this is her prom outfit very pretty very girly and then this is uh, her new prom outfit so this is one of the new dresses in the pack um, and she's got a new corsage there that also comes with the pack and she's got one of the new hairstyles here as well which is very very pretty and beautiful I love those kind of like tousled way tousled to tousled tousled waves uh with the little brooch i think it's a very very pretty hairstyle and again like the center parting at the moment very on trend um for her nails as well just because i've really given them personality through the nails she's got a very classic french manicure across all her outfits um sportswear then so she's got those really nice leggings on from uh, Discover University here and if we just flip over she is of course a cheerleader of course she is she's like a high achiever she's gonna be like head cheerleader obviously and then this hair is also one of the new hairs in the pack really really beautiful gorgeous love to see it um sleepwear so she's got that um is it my wedding stories dress on a sleepwear just because it looks like a little slip really like that for her uh this again super cute look so this is um the dream home decorator little ribbed um uh, top i think it's really beautiful i love how it comes down over her hands and then some simple little uh what's this uh nifty knitting jeans with some trainers really simple classic look see a lot of girls dressing like this um like a lot of teens a lot of girls dressing like this classic simple french manicure she's gorgeous she's like the girl that every guy has a crush on right the girl next door um and then i've got that dress on her again not super keen on the top underneath it but it's cute fits her this is a party wear uh, this outfit for her as well very very cute really love that dress definitely one of my favorite items in the pack and these are the new shoes that come with the pack as well uh these kind of like big like wedge um like platform sandals again really yeah very teen very very teen um i love hate relationship with them <laughs> i see i see the style I, it works right um what else do we have this is gorgeous this is so pretty so this kind of like slightly 70s vibe that's in the pack as well so again in the 90s there was like a kind of 70s kind of uh Woodstock style revival so a little bit of that's filtered in as well so the top and the pants are both in the new pack uh, really really like this little top wish I could wear things like that but I can't <laughs> 
brass drops are too big but it's very cute it reminds me of mariah carey as well in like heartbreak you got the best on me she has that little like knitted top um so really beautiful really really love that i might actually leave that color on her and then these jeans which is such a gorgeous fit um and again they kind of come in like the panel but just the really plain version of them they are so nice and they look so good on a sims but if your sim has a bit of a bubble butt absolutely gorgeous really shapely really nice kind of like hourglass figure but it keeps going right to the ankles uh really really love that she's got it on with some basic sandals from uh, my wedding stories and she's got the new necklace on there as well so this is one of the new necklaces that comes in the pack really really cute and girly want one for myself love it uh what else do we have so she's got that very classic white uh knitted bikini from um island living this is her kind of look for again very earthy quite tonal quite muted but also quite girly and pretty really like it it's a cottage living top i think these are cottage living bottoms as well um and then some of the items from the new pack again she's got that little knitted camisole on with these are these cottage living no that's paranormal stuff these really cute little pants from paranormal stuff I, it took me a while to decide on the swatch though because like look how pretty they are as well uh i think they they look really nice together those two items uh like that as well it almost matches but not quite so uh yeah definitely play around with that and see which one you like the most um and we also have I and mean, again that new hairstyle it just looks like she's she's thrown it up but she's done a bit of a plait right it's like it looks like she's just thrown it up but she probably spent an hour on it really gorgeous and with the bits coming down as well like I remember in high school like I had the bits right? <laughs> like the bits that come down and from your face like <laughs> yeah um and then this really cute outfit as well this feels a little bit more like a teacher outfit again to me this kind of like boho style um uh, whatever this is but it looks really cute on her and i've just put it on again with this kind of like um what where did i get those pants from let me just disable hot weather is it these yeah oh yeah so these little uh cottage living pants uh th these ones like that as well that looks really really cute too like really sweet so do play around with the color swatches because there's some really nice combinations that you can make um her outerwear is uh she's got the inky on arrivals top on i think she looks a little bit like kate middleton princess kate married to will if you know who i'm talking about uh, and i've not given her anything else that's all she's got <laughs> so I, I think i failed at giving her a winter wear outfit let's move on to leona etna so leona etna is my fire sign so leona because leo etna because volcanic explosions <laughs> hot fire lava raining down from heaven um so she's uh she's a drama queen she's a drama student she's uh artistic she's vibrant because fire signs and wands in tarot are connected to creativity passion drive ambition uh loving the limelight so that is very much her vibe she's very very colorful she's also uh she identifies as they them so i'm saying she i'm sorry it's a habit uh but like my daughter she her they them uh, she's kind of um happy for happy for for all she's i feel like she'd be quite outspoken in terms of like lgbtq plus rights uh and she would use her platform as a, a drama school student to kind of explore those issues uh or topics not issues uh so she's uh she wants to be a world famous celebrity she's self-absorbed and she's creative so very leo um and then she's got this kind of like big bird top which i absolutely love this kind of fluffy top from um the date night kit that i can't remember the name of uh paired with so her style's quite unusual i've kind of intentionally made it a little bit clashy and it does have it's kind of like the way that that very very trendy teens wear the clothing and i can't quite understand it because it feels quite new to me i don't have the reference yet so i'm trying to do it not the best at it because i'm a 40 year old woman <laughs> trying to do what the teens are doing uh and i don't quite get it so she's got that kind of like the bright yellow one with the kind of more muted colors of this uh dream home decorator pants uh and then the inky on arrival ar arrival trainers very bright hair as well very clashy and she's got this little school necklace i love her she's quite sagittarius as well in the in her style my daughter's sagittarius and the way she dresses it's like she just throws stuff on and somehow it magically works so that's what i was trying to kind of do with it uh where i'm libra i'm like everything has to match everything has to be coordinated she's like i like this it's bright i'm putting it on and i'm just going to shove it on with these it looks great <laughs> so 
so that kind of Sagittarius way of getting dressed. Um, she's also, she's got the very bold makeup on that I see a lot of the very trendy girls wearing. Uh, so the very, like, uh, the very bold line, almost cartoonish, like, eyeliner and things like that uh, a lot of the new makeup that comes with this pack is uh, she's wearing it so let me just kind of show you the filter for that so you know what you're getting again this isn't a thorough cast overview because I've seen a lot of people doing that uh, the game changers who got early 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 access have done that already so I'm just telling you the style of my sims uh, so yeah so she's more likely to wear the kind of like euphoria style diamante on the face kind of uh, holographic makeup and the bold uh, I can't can never remember what it's called the really bold kind of like uh, almost cartoon line eyeliner uh, she's more likely to wear these I'm not a super fan of this fa uh, blusher because like why is it everywhere I feel like it should be like here if you were going really trendy I don't think it needs to be below the cheek for that style of blush but I don't know I don't get it again could be a teen thing I don't get it uh so yeah really really gorgeous love her makeup let's keep going so again she's got one of the new eyeliners on really love those bold lips as well she's got a new hair here that came with the pack so very very cool looking very cool looking she's got those kind of myspace pants on again and kind of the big bird jacket and uh, she just looks really cool like very very cool very arty very creative um very confident as well you've got to be very confident to dress like that and then this really cute little uh, locket choker as well uh her nails as well her nails are always like rainbow again showing that she's lgbqt plus um like um she's she has a lot of the kind of different variety of rainbow nails really really love it um so what else has she got so this not super keen on this outfit but i kind of wanted to show that this was in there that kind of kawaii japanese style uh with these kind of new pants uh this comes in lots of different colors again so you can dress it up in lots of different ways i particularly like this i think that's a really nice one but uh yeah just went for that kind of really bright bold um graphic style um uh, that I think she would go for being quite arty uh, that'd be really good as well for uh, what's her name she lives in uh, San Maishuno Miku, Miku from San Maishuno I could definitely see her wearing that uh, so this was her original outfit again very very bold very almost vintage as well I think she would shop at vintage shops um, and then these are some of her other looks so very glam very bold um, yeah she's 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 got a bit darker a bit more dramatic really letting her hair like do the talking um with her formal wear uh and she's just wearing like converse as well again she's pretty rock and roll i quite like her uh, out, uh athletic wear so again this is fitness stuff love it uh throwback fitness kit even and then again just to kind of show you that's throwback fitness and then this is the new pack so that kind of shell suit style um in both of those packs if you're into that uh, and then this is just one of the coordinated outfits not everything coordinates uh, some of the swatches are a little bit hit and miss uh, with the sportswear in this pack which is a little bit disappointing but some of it works really really well and I like this kind of like very bright style on her uh, she's gone she's uh, just putting those little plaits and things to kind of keep her hair up there as well which I thought was extremely cute um, and what else do we have so of course she's a cheerleader she's in probably for about five weeks and then she get bored and go and do something else short attention span sagittarius energy you know so uh really into it for a couple of weeks and then really into something completely different <laughs> uh, and she's got those big uh trainers on those high tops from uh throwback fitness kit so love it uh sleepwear cat because leo <laughs> uh this is the festival uh the festival kit uh, it's like street festival kit or something like that uh, again very very glam very bold she's very confident got the whole euphoria style holographic makeup and like these um is that from like i can't remember what that's from actually uh realm of magic um the kind of like the stuff stuck on her face the glitter and stuff stuck on her face it's a thing we did it in the 90s it's back again blame euphoria this again love the holographic eyeshadow there i um, really like this outfit again this i think i've done this quite well um i really like the holographic um skirts like the hollow stuff in this pack really really very cool and then she's got it on with this kind of like corduroy jacket and plain top so i do feel like that's quite wearable and i really like that as a full outfit 
And then this again, this is pretty much what the girl in the uh, the tattoo and ear piercing place was wearing. So she had one of these kind of uh, 90s club wear, like uh, very, very see-through tops on with those kind of um, like uh, the thick kind of um, combat pants style pants i need to stop this video it's going to be a long video and i'm still going uh but yeah this is pretty much exactly what that girl wore and i was looking at her and i was thinking you look like you could have gone to school with me you look like somebody has transported you from the 90s like 90s club scene like into modern day she just looked like 100 percent spot on 90s and that's kind of what she was wearing uh very very cool so that's definitely back in again um i don't know why i don't know again like dressing up she likes she likes dressing up <laughs> and then this again really love those new sunglasses that come with the kit the new necklace as well it kind of looks like a minecraft necklace to me like i don't know it's kind of um it looks like pixel art and then the little sword on it it kind of looks like it should be a minecraft necklace of some sort really really love that very cute um what else so this came with uh the festival kit i think um and this is her other hot weather outfit. I'm getting, getting bored of Cass. I've spent so long in Cass, guys. I've been in Cass for hours. You don't understand. So really cute. Uh, and then, oh, I've lost what she originally had on now. I don't know. I'm going to... Mm, mm, I don't know what she had on. What did she have on? I'm confused. I'm confused myself. I've lost what she had. Is that what she had on? That one. There we go. Um, and then these pants are just from the date night kit. Uh, so cute little outfit again very very 90s a little bit a little bit kind of blur I feel like if you remember blur it's like somebody who listens to blur going on holiday to Greece that's what that's the vibe it gives me um and then this is her outerwear again she's got that very cool graphic eyeliner on which I love uh, very bright very vibrant and uh this one as well which it's a look it's a vibe and I think she pulls it off. She's cool. I like her. So they are my Sims and uh, based on the elements. Uh, so if you want some more teens for your game, absolutely go ahead and download them from the gallery. I'll have them up ASAP. Um, and you can just, you can either stick them in a the game, have them roaming well round. You can just uh, put them in on a lot and then um, put them back in the household bin and they'll still show up at school for you. If you want to play them and turn them into spellcasters and vampires and werewolves, you could absolutely do that. I think the last thing for me to do, and I'm just going to hide my face while I do this because I should have done that from the start. Wow, why am I so red? <laughs> ah, oh, that's the Create Network thing. <laughs> Buttons are hard. Uh, right, here we go. So let's have a look at the new aspirations. So teen, we've got Drama Llama. Well, she's going to be the Drama Llama, obviously. Uh, let's have a look here as well. I feel like she's going to be the overachiever. Where's that one? Goal orientated, admired icon, and live fast. The Sim aims to get the most out of life by living carefree and rules free. So I feel like Eartha being quite ambitious and like uh, hardworking is going to be goal orientated. Uh, so it suits them really well, actually. Um, I feel like North is going to be. Um, She's going to be live fast, right? Again, it's like I, I haven't got time to sit around in a classroom learning stuff that I already understand. I'm going to break the rules. I'm going to be a rebel. That's very much her vibe. And then I feel like, because I kind of feel like she'd be the drama llama. She wants the drama all the time, being a water sign because it's very Cancerian. Um, and what's the other one? Admired icon. Yeah, I'm going to switch. I'm going to make uh, Tide the drama llama and I'm going to make Leona the admired icon because she wanted to be a world famous celebrity uh, so there we go and then what other traits do we have so we actually have quite a few traits we've got socially awkward party animal and uh, there's another one overachiever so I think Eartha needs overachiever so we'll swap out perfectionist and we'll add overachiever and then who would be socially awkward I don't feel like any of them would be socially awkward. Maybe North? No, because she's quite sociable. Maybe... I'm not going to put socially awkward on any of them. I think, feel like they're all quite confident. And then there was party animal as well, wasn't there? So maybe North could have party animal instead of outgoing, because it's a bit more interesting, isn't it? 
party animal. Would anyone have socially awkward? These sims tend to struggle in social situations and build charisma more slowly, but gain powerful moodlets and sentiments when they are able to overcome their awkwardness and accompany nervousness. Yeah, I don't feel like it suits any of them, so I'm not actually going to put that on any of them, but if you wanted to do so, you could absolutely do that yourselves. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this very long video. Like All my videos tend to be an hour long. I don't know what that is about. Like, oh gosh, it's so red. I need to open my window. I shut my window because of the background noise, but it's really warm in the UK. So now I'm like bright red. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I've got going on. I I hope you found this interesting. Let me know if you use them in your game. If you spot them at school, take a screenshot of them and send it to me on Twitter at Cinderella Mouse. I'd love to see it. Um, and keep watching out for more videos because I have actually got quite a lot of Sims that I've prepared for this pack and uh, can't wait to upload them. So these Sims are just from Cass. So they haven't got any skills or anything like that yet. They are like fresh out of Cass. I've got some other Sims that I've been kind of like playing with just to kind of like test out some of the features off camera. And uh, they're gonna have a few skills and a little bit of career and stuff and a little bit more backstory going on. So do watch out for more videos of Sims that I've created if you're into that. And I will see you again, again soon. Happy Simming, friends. Bye-bye.